In this video, what we'd like to show is how to convert any base into base 10 or the decimal base. This table and the information below is a direct copy of the last slide from the last video. And what we have done there is we found each digit, we found the corresponding power, so 10 to the power of 0, 10 to the power of 1, and we did a sequence all the way up to the highest digit. And then we converted out of exponent form into a base 10 number. And we see that we've done that down there. We multiplied it times the digit, and then we added them together. And you say, well, how is this converting into base 10? What you're doing is you're converting a base 10 number into a base 10 number, so it's not very obvious. But with the next slides, we're going to show you how to do different bases into base 10 using this exact same strategy. So we see in this slide a very similar table to the last table, except for this number right here is not in base 10. It is 3214 in base 5. We have a sequence of numbers going from 0 all the way to 3, but we are no longer in base 10. We want to use the base that we're in, and that is base 5. So we have 5 to the power of 0, 1, 2, and then 3. And the place values are also different. This first one right here is the same, the ones place, but once we move out of the ones place, the rest of them are going to be different. The next one right here is 5 to the first, which is the fives place instead of the tens place. This is 5 to the second, the 25th spot instead of the hundreds and the 125s instead of the thousands. So let's see how this works with the math down here. We take the number, just like we did in the previous slide, and we multiply it times the base to the power. Now, it's easier to start from this end and go forward as opposed to starting from this end as to get the exponent right. So we have 5 to the power of 0 times the digit. So 5 to the power of 0 times the digit, 5 to the power of 1 times the digit, which is 1, 5 to the power of 2 times the digit, which is 2, and then 5 to the power of 3 times the digit in that place, which is 3. And then what we do is we're going to move these out of exponent form and move them into base 10. Notice these are not base 5 numbers. 125 would not exist in base 5 because the highest number in base 5 is a 4. So we have 125, 25, 5, and 1. Then we do the multiplication math. We get 375, 50, 5, and 4. And then we do the addition, which is going to give us 434 in base 10. So what we've just accomplished using this expansion method right here is to convert 3214 in base 5 into 434 in base 10. This next slide is going to show instead of converting a number below base 10, let's do a number above base 10. And if you remember with hexadecimal, in addition to 0 through 9, we have A through F. So we're going to see how that affects our math. Our math is pretty much going to be the same, but we're going to have to deal with letters and numbers instead of just numbers. So we've laid out the digits in the table, we've laid out the powers in the table, and we've laid out the powers value in the table. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take these values right here and find out what they are in non-exponent form. And so we get 4096, 256, 16, and 1. In the next step, there's going to be a problem because we have A and F. There's no way to multiply A times 256 or F times 16. We're going to have to convert them into their base 10 values. And the way that we can do that is we can either do it from memory or we can use our chart right here. We have A is 10, B is 11, C 12, D 13, E 14, and F 15. And so we do the conversion here of A to 10 and F to 15. Then we simply do our multiplication. We have 4096 plus 2560 plus 240 plus 8. And that comes out to 6904 in base 10. And so what we have just done is we have taken 1AF8 and converted it into base 10 from base 16. Now moving further down, instead of above base 10, we're going to do base 2, which is another common base used in computer programming. So we lay it out exactly the same way that we've laid out the last couple slides. We have the digits laid out in the bottom of the table. We have the sequence of 2 to the power all the way to the highest digit, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have the value of 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 3 above it. And let's see how this works out. 
instead of using the expansion method, which I used in the prior two slides, I'm going to use uh, this method of just layering them on top of one another. So then we take the first digit and multiply it times the exponent value, which is one times one, and we get one. Then we take the second value and we get one times two, which is two. Third value, zero times four, which is zero. Zero times eight, which is also zero. And one times 16, which is 16. We add up all the numbers and we get 19 in base 10. So what we have just done is we have taken a number 10011 in base 2 and converted it into 19, which is base 10. There are two methods for converting any base into decimal. They do exactly the same thing. It's just the format is a little bit different. It's important to know which exponent corresponds to which place. And remember that you are going to use the base that you are in as opposed to base 10. So we're going to say 2 to the power of 0 as opposed to 10 to the power of 0. Whatever base you're in currently is the base that you're going to use to convert into base 10. Remember, this only works for taking any base to base 10.